What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make it snow in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this video is sponsored by Graphics Stuck. You can check out their YouTube channel in the description or you can head over to their website which will also be in the description and you can get a 7 day free trial. During a 7 day free trial you can download 140 pieces of content, you can also sign up for their annual plan which is $99 for unlimited access to over 300,000 images. So as you can see I have Sony Vegas open up right now but of course we need an image to work with. So for this I am heading over to Graphic Stock and believe it or not Graphic Stock actually have over 300,000 graphics, photos, vectors and images which is incredible. So now I'm just going to go ahead and look for an image that suits the video I'm trying to make. As you can see we got loads of nice images here. Now the reason why I like graphic stock over any other website, most other websites charge per image or per graphic and that can be very costly. However with graphic stock you get unlimited downloads with your membership so that is definitely a big plus. So I found a photo, I'm going to pick this one right here. As you can see it's a nice winterland picture, I'm going to select download. As you can see, it is a very small file size, only 2.19 megabytes, and it has downloaded. So this is the image we're going to be working with, and we're going to create a snow effect over it. Now, as you may know, YouTubers are recently getting screwed over quite a lot by copyright. Now, this can be with images or videos. Now, with graphic stock, once you have the membership, it comes with 100% royalty-free agreement. This means you cannot get sued or copyright striked on your channel. So I've got the image here, I'm just going to drag and drop it into my timeline and I'm going to make this 10 seconds long. And to get rid of the black bars of course we've got to right click, properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and select OK. Now we need to right click here and insert a video so it is above the photo we're working with. Head over to media generators and you want to look for noise texture. If you don't even have media generators then you can simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. So you're going to be adding on the standard noise on top just like so and this is what you're going to get and let's get into it. So colour 1 of course it's not going to be black because snow is white so we're going to pick a nice white at the top of here, there we go. And as for the second colour we're going to change it to PNG just by putting that checker on. As you can see we have a white screen over it, we will fix it. Now the next thing here is frequency so select this and you want to put the X all the way up and you want to put the Y just about 25, 27, like that maybe for me. Now the next thing, forget offset, we're going to come over to noise parameters. Now for this one, where it says max, this is how bright the snow will be. So by default it's going to be all the way up, but just turn it down. You don't need it all the way up, but you can if you want it, depends how you want it. The bias you can leave the same, the amplitude you can also leave the same, you can maybe put it up just a tiny bit. And as for the grain, just leave it the same. So now we can close out some noise parameters and head over to the offset. So here we're going to make the snow move. Now, first of all, we're going to be animating with the white. The white allows it to move up and down. At the moment, if we play through it, the snow is just still. So of course we want it to move. So you're going to come to the side here and select the animation button. Make sure sync cursor is checked and then just drag this across to the end. And now you want to make the Y go to minus 3.5 to minus 2.5. It's completely up to you. You can mess around with it to find the best for you. For me, I'm going to stay around here. And now if we play this through from the beginning, as you can see, the snow is falling on screen, just like we want it to. Now, if you wanted the snow to move faster, then you can X out of this, come to the end of your clip where the snow is, hold control and just drag it to the left. Now you'll notice here, the snow is going to move very fast. As you can see, it's coming down much faster and it would probably be better for this environment since there's already a lot of snow. But I'm going to leave the same for now and we're going to head back to the editing. So now on to the X. Now X allows us to change the direction the snow is actually moving in. So again make sure sync cursor is checked. Choose where you want the snow to actually move. So maybe like halfway through. And I'm going to put this up. And the direction of the snow will actually change. So if we play this from the beginning. As you can see the snow is coming from the top right and coming towards the left. But as you can see, it was very sharp. It just went from the coming in from the right and just went down, just like that. And it was very sharp, it didn't look the best. So if you select the first keyframe while holding shift and select the end up here, then you right click and then select smooth fade. This will make it look better. 
As you can see, just like that, there was no sudden stop, it's just moving left to right, just like that. Now the last thing we have to animate is progress in degrees, so again, press the animation button, come to the end, and you can change it by a little bit, so maybe like 5 or completely up to you, you can mess around with the settings. So I'm going to go here, as you'll see, that's what we've just created snow and a blizzard effect at the same time. Now once you're done with all this you can come over to preset and call this snow then you can press this save button x out of it and now when you come back to noise check texture and come down here as you'll see snow will be saved here so you don't have to remember all the settings I just showed you. So if we play it through one more time as you can see we've created snow coming in from the side and then it's going to slowly train transition just like that and come down like so. Now of course the last thing we can do is add a snow effect or snow sound effect to it to make it sound better and I'll also link one in the description. Anyway that's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it and I hope this video has helped you. Again if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.